to generation, MNB World's generation, which introduces Mongolia to the passion, goals, talent, lifestyle, and successes of Mongolia's youth, turns a year old today. In each episode, we introduce one young, unique, and talented individual. For today's special episode, we have invited six youth from past episodes of Generation Show. Their mission is to find out what the Mongolian dream is through various tasks and challenges faced throughout the day. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. We welcomed our guests with hot coffee and a tasty breakfast to prepare them for the day ahead. After all, the most important meal of day is breakfast. Let's say hello to our past guests. Hosun Nimikbayer is a well-known television host for music programs, but today she is known for her Gumuda concept store and as the author of the book A Year to Remember. Timuzin Ganzarik works as an English teacher at Ostlung International School. Timuzin's goal is to become the number one English teacher in Asia, not only in Mongolia. Wolfgang Chimek is the development manager at the Velu Foundation. Thanks to the Velu Foundation, children who live near the Osanchoslot garbage dump spend their days in a safe, warm kindergarten today. Miss Mukhbai Saksang is a manager at Unread Media. She and her team successfully held the annual Unplug 2019 event this year. Michelle is a high school student. A young, brave girl playing hockey in Mongolia warmed thousands of viewers' hearts when the show aired in January 2019. Ich Burung Ich is 18 years old. Despite his young age, he is the founder of Mongolia's most active digital marketing agency and the CEO of a high-income company. Today we have prepared three different tasks for them. These tasks may be exhausting, challenging, and heartwarming for them. At the end of the day, we hope that we all learn something from today's episode. So how was the breakfast? That was pretty good. A lot of protein. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, what are these? <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it out. Yeah, they're like the gold paper. The whole time, oh! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey everybody, you're about to try wall climbing. It's hard to climb up to the top. This task could be challenging for you, but don't give up. There's an opportunity behind every challenge. Good luck. Alright, cool. Wow. Has, everyone, has anyone ever climbed no. before, like wall climbing? I did the rock climbing. Oh really? Yeah, it was wow. quite a dangerous thing yeah. to do. I don't recommend it to anybody, but it was great, very... Exciting. Exciting. Yeah. It's absolutely exciting. Yes, the first mission is wall climbing. But before you go, we have a question for you. What's your goal in life? Uh, my short term objective is to get good grades on my exams, of course, and then the long term is to actually make my dream come true. What's your dream? Um, to become a good dentist. Alright, my goal is to become the number one English teacher in Asia. At the same time, my other goal is to make sure that every single person in Mongolia has sufficient English knowledge. Uh, my goal would be to be happy all the time and I'm a writing, aspiring writer so my goal would be to remember it as a writer who changed someone's life or perspective. My goal is to live a happy life and at the end of my life, I want to look back at it and be like, yeah, I've done everything I wanted to do. That's my goal. Uh, at the moment, I'm trying to scale my business up to six figure a year, uh, in a year, and uh, my end goal is to provide uh, people with the best world possible in the world. My goal is to live with no regret and do uh, everything I'm passionate about. And at the same time, I want to contribute and give back to my community in the future. 
our guests have arrived at Ursa Sports Club, which is located near Jason Hill. Each contestant must climb the 8-meter wall to reach an envelope that has instructions for the next mission. The instructor at Ursa Sports Club noted that wall climbing is not an easy task because it requires a tremendous amount of willpower and strength. Will our contestants reach the top? We're out. You win. So How do I win? I, I lost to her, right? Cause... Oh, yeah. So you're going to be the first one to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Our first contestant is Timutam, the English teacher. I have never tried indoors, but I've tried outdoors. Oh, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Alright, so climbing up the top was actually pretty exciting at first until we, I actually got to the top uh, when I had to sort of crawl on the ceiling to get the paper. It was one of those situations where I didn't know what my next step was, so I was just trying to improvise, but it wasn't working. Well, if he's struggling, we're screwed up. So I decided to jump. <laughs> yeah, it was a spontaneous decision. Very, very happy with uh, the outcome. The next contestant is Michelle, the hockey player. Um, I was really nervous when I was climbing and I was really nervous that my foot like shake it <laughs> and I'm still still nervous right now. Yeah, you can do it. But I'm really happy that I made it until the end. So yeah. Our next contestant is Hotung, the accomplished author. At first I was very confident, but then it got real scary, real scary. But I struggled a lot. I got stuck for a bit up there and I had to give myself some pep talk to get over this. Oh, <laughs> Before coming here, I thought the climbing up to the wall was physical, about the physical strain, how strong you are. But now I understand that it's more about the emotional strength, how emotionally stable you are. <laughs> so, I guess it, it was a good, good challenge.
The next contestant is Wo Sun Jimik, the angel. Um, I was super, super nervous. Like my entire body was just trembling with fear. And once you get up there where the wall curves, I think I just blacked out, like literally just like blacked out and just everyone jumped, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna jump. And I just stood there and trembled, but I think it teaches a person a lesson that even if there's a challenge, you should just go ahead and jump ahead because there's nothing to lose, really. So it's a great challenge, I think. <laughs> Our next contestant is moved by Sasang, the manager. Okay, so uh, I was I was really nervous about the whole thing because I've never tried uh, climb wall climbing before. And then when I started, things were going fine until I reached up to the top, and there was like no way I could. I'm on the ceiling to reach for the paper. I kind of stuck there for a moment and... And then I just tested my luck and then just jumped. That moment of reaching out for the paper and grabbing it was very precious. Like it was, it felt like when you uh, go through a really hard challenge and then finally reaching your goal, that was very satisfying. All right, good luck. The last contestant is Ikhbura, Mongolia's youngest CEO. <laughs> I uh, played, I used to play a video game since I was five, so uh, it just felt like I was playing a video game, not that hard. There was a wall and the producer told me to climb up and I just climbed up. So, what's your next task? Life can be both bitter and sweet. But little children shouldn't have to experience hardship. They should always be happy. Folks, your next task is to make children happy. With handmade desserts and to make them smile. Our generation team is heading to Mom Bakery, which is one of the first bakeries in Mongolia. They have generously allowed us to decorate a cake in their kitchen. Alright guys, so we're actually gonna team up um, and make a cake because this is our next task. They won't just try to make a cake, they have to make a birthday cake for a kid. Um, yeah, so let's just get right into it. This is probably the first time we've ever made a cake, actually. Yeah? I think so. Alright. 
our main chef or our team leader is Michelle, who has <laughs> experience decorate, just a little bit of experience decorating. So she'll uh, be in charge of everything. Whereas we're the cutting station. We're gonna be cutting all the fruits, and they'll be doing the decorating. Right? No, typo. Typo. Yes. <laughs> typo. All right. So let's get started. Get right into it. Oh, I never liked cake. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, the generation team succeeded! Their cake kind of looks like a Mongolian gear without the door though. It's beautiful. Also, Mom Bakery has given them two bags full of pastries for the children the generation team is about to meet. We would like to thank Mom Bakery for having us and gifting us with Baumkuchen, which comes in two flavors, matcha and the classic. Baumkuchen is a traditional German as well as modern Japanese cake that's eaten usually during Christmas. So, and now you can enjoy it here in Mongolia as well. So Thank have you. a taste. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know, Narni Huhtut Kindergarten is one of the very few charity kindergartens in Mongolia. With the help of a Canadian woman, Julie Velu, and her kind donors, the kindergarten provides over 150 preschoolers with a warm, clean environment and educates them. If you want to know more about the kindergarten and how to volunteer here, watch the previous episode of Generation with our guest, Otlan Cimik. While everyone is having fun upstairs with the kids, Baisa is preparing a cake for a birthday boy who is turning 5 today. How do you feel about this task? The birthday boy made a wish for so long. Did you guys see that? He made a wish for like almost a solid minute. And now I was wondering what does he wish for? What what does he think in, in his little body? And I got emotional and I, I cried. You know, people always say that I want to help people, I want to do the charity work, donation work on my birthday or some, some special day or even during the holiday season. But we never tend to do that actually, we always wish for that. But now I understand that we get to actually make a step and 
do something. When we, when we started making the cake, I didn't really give much thought into it to be honest because the whole process was, it, it was all just for my fun basically. Um, I was enjoying my time. But now that I look at the result and the happiness and the love that it gave all these kids, the smallest contribution that we can make to them is just, you know, like small actions like these. And I feel like uh, we managed to give them just like, even if it's a day or even if it's a few minutes or one hour of happiness, I feel like um, I feel fulfilled somehow. Um, I definitely wish to continue doing stuff like this. When I handed the cake to the birthday boy, I, um, I couldn't see his smile and I felt like the fire in, his, fire in his eyes has somehow died, but I'm sure he felt special on his birthday and I'm sure he has great dreams in the future. And it's really great to uh, have the opportunity to come actually come here and see the reality and to know that we're making someone's birthday very happy and very special day. Sharing is caring. Even though our guests came to the kindergarten to give children happiness, they got the gift of happiness from the children they met. As the author Simon Sinek says, when we help ourselves, we find moments of happiness. When we help others, we find lasting fulfillment. Did you know about the newest art gallery in Mongolia? Mongol Art Gallery, located in front of Dunjengaro Center, opened its door in June 2019. The gallery has three different halls where you can see three different exhibitions on any given day. Mongol Art Gallery also offers the opportunity to learn how master artists create their work through master classes. Please tell us about your final task, Baisa. Life is full of different colors. However, your dreams should stand out from all of these colors and shine bright like a diamond. What is your dream? How is your dream connected to Mongolia's future? Your last task is to give us your answer in color. It's time for them to describe their dreams in color. None of our guests are painters. For some of them, the last time they created art was when they were in school. Can they accomplish the task? In order to draw and paint, you have to concentrate. We don't want to disturb our artists. Uh, the topic of this challenge was to draw your dream, so I draw this earth and go off to see the world because my dream is to, not only mine, but most of the young people's dream would be to tra travel across the world and be remote as much as possible, not to tie down to one place, being able to live anywhere in the world should be actual definition of the Mongolian dream or anyone's dream because who wants to be just have to live and work at the at one place so one of my dream one of my biggest dream is able to work from anywhere anywhere in the world and still be able to maintain my lifestyle so I may not be the best painter, um, as you can see, but I am a really good storyteller, and I'll tell you a story. My vision and my dream is to impact a lot of people 
especially Mongolians, because there aren't a lot of people that create a positive impact in the world, um, especially Mongolia. And I want to be one of the first to to become a catalyst for Mongolians to grow toward a positive change in the future. And this is me actually. Um, in a first-person view, this is me delivering a speech to thousands and thousands of uh, people. Um, hopefully, something inspiring and motivating. So yeah, that's my dream, to impact, to have a positive impact on society. Um, I'm not a great artist, but I just do what um, I felt like. So my dream is actually to be able to comprehend and accept all parts of my personality and all parts of the world and at the same time be free like a bird so I do illustrate in terms of a bird but at the same time I want to have a steady life like a basic um, consistency in my in my life so that's the tree branch and the personalities that I have inside of me and as well as everything that's outside are the different colors of the wings which actually helps the bird to fly which it would be myself that helps me to fly everywhere with just freedom with acceptance of myself and the world around me but at the same time a hidden gem is the eye which is a Mongolian traditional symbol because sometimes I lose sight of my Mongolian side because of my me growing up in, a, in Germany so I want to also have that inside of me and be always looking through and understand my Mongolian side. My picture is about four seasons and in my opinion I think that world needs some balance just like everything has like sequence and those sequences osmos, um, oscillate so I thought drawing these four seasons with some cap gap between them makes it uh, makes that everything needs some time to recover and get replaced or some time to move on so I think um, I want to make the world better by making it balanced like how it was used to before by being more friendly or eco-friendly and making the society much more better so I thought this picture can make my dream into an art. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm not a painting guy, so, but I tried my best. As you can see, uh, I struggled a lot to paint this, so let me explain it for you. It's not a painting, it's a message to parents, so um, a lot of, a lot of pain, uh, parents uh, lock their kids with a mouth by saying uh, I think you shouldn't do that or maybe too maybe you're too young to do this or maybe you shouldn't uh, start your business your start your own business at this age so what is this is you think you're allowing them uh, you're uh, you think you're respecting them but it's not so what you should do instead of is uh, just uh, let them do uh, some research and aware of who they are, who they, what they are capable of. So, and once they found themselves, uh, you don't need to lock them uh, anymore. Just let them go, just one time, just believe them. So, uh, this is the most important part because it's, uh, I know it's, it, it would be very hard for you to do that thing as a parent, but uh, if you do that, they can reach at the peak uh, and then support you and make it even the rose, uh, the beautiful, uh, the most beautiful uh, flower I know. Among all the problems out there, uh, environmental issue is the one I care about the most. So my dream is to see the world coexisting with humankind with harmony and peace. So uh, in my painting, uh, I try to illustrate the universe in the background and if you guys see if you guys have seen the movie Moana you would notice that uh, I uh, illustrated the female as a as a mother earth and then this girl standing right here represents humankind so uh, that's how um, 
demonstrating a coexistence of humankind and mother nature and peace. Yes. We didn't expect such a creative and diverse artwork from our guests. How do all of these tasks you accomplished connect to the Mongolian dream that we are trying to define? Alright uh, guys, so what was the favorite part of the day for you guys? Every minute of it? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah it's really answer. hard to tell. We did a lot of things. But if I had to choose one, um, not exactly the favorite part, but uh, when we visited the kindergarten, um, it made me realize the very pressing issue out there that I should have, I mean, I wasn't really aware of. So yeah. that was really like emotional and a very important thing that this day gave us. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, I think instead of like a certain activity that we've done so far, it's more of I found it really nice that in the beginning, early in the morning when we met, like we barely spoke to each other, right? And all of each other, but like throughout the day, we actually grew closer and then we now can joke around, laugh around. So just getting to know you guys just, it was awesome, like each one of you. Right. And you guys are all super talented, so. I hope it's, it's the start of new. Wait, French? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all of the like activities were really diverse and I think like humanity should have to do the service back to help the others um, to solve the problem. So like doing some um, humanity services back to the people who really need is what makes the society a better people, better place, I guess. Mm. Yes. You know, something I really liked about this day was the rock climbing. The wall climbing. The wall climbing, yeah. So, the thing was, I feel like that's super related to how we as youth should be thinking because because what I did was I went all the way to the top and I suddenly got nervous and I suddenly got scared, right? And it was just this moment of, all right, should I just like stop? Should I stop? Should I give up? Should I go back down? Or should I take a leap of faith and go for whatever I was looking for? And that was the piece, piece of paper. And just by taking that leap, and just by jumping and grabbing that piece of paper, I felt so much better. Because if I had stopped and I went down, I would have felt terrible and I probably would have hated myself for that. Yeah. How about you? Yeah, I learned the lesson from the rock climbing too, and it was uh, all people don't have the same way to reach their uh, results or whatever they want, but just uh, everybody needs to try. That's true. Yeah. 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 It's a great thing. By the way, uh, can we try the rock climbing later? <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I'll have to lose five pounds before I do that. <laughs> Yeah. What about you? Uh, decorating the cake was, it seemed easy at first, but ended up it's, it, it, you know, needed certain amount of creativity and talent somehow. I was like, at first, well, it should be easy, it's a piece of cake, you know. But <laughs> <Just literally, laughs> no pun intended. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but, okay. yeah, it was hard, you know. Yeah. I learned sometimes in life we got to be very careful, very soft, uh, in order to get to the yeah. success. Yeah, I felt true. Uh, I truly felt respect for those professional people who decorate yeah. cakes yeah. every day. And so, when you make something visible, especially if it's your thoughts, you become more committed to it just by looking at it and saying, "All right, this is my dream." Whereas when it's inside your head, your thoughts always change. And they alter with experience and stuff like that and I feel like just making it visible really helped me to define my goals and have a clear picture of my path yeah but you guys are so deep <laughs> <laughs> I took the mission literally and I, I draw my the dream to travel across the world and you guys are like 
<laughs> Most of them were really related to some politics and really deep. Yeah. Uh, Mine's not really deep. <laughs> <fault. laughs> I'm going to make sure. <laughs> we, we are kind of like selfish part of this group. Kind of. <laughs> no. I don't know. No. Every, every dream a person has is their own dream, which is selfish. No? Yeah. And selfish is nothing bad. It's yeah. just I you have to think about yourself before thinking about others as well. I think no? selfish is kind of like a harsh word. A better word could be self-fulfilling. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Mindful. Or mindful of oneself. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great that we started in the morning. We also started with the topic of Mongolian dream, Mongolian mm. youth dream, our dreams, our goals. And then at the end of the day, now we're here and we have really realized it, right? Yeah. And personally, I think I got into the Mongolian youth dream after knowing you guys and knowing your background. We're all from different backgrounds, right? So I think what I've understood is that, also looking from outside, is that Mongolian youth, I feel like we really have to start defining a constant goal for us all. We have, we all feel like, I feel like Mongolian youth, we are um, parting ourselves mm. into different sectors and not have a defined goal that we want to reach, you know? We have to start reaching for that goal, try to change the world the way we want and not work against each other. Yeah, yeah. I think we're kind of stuck in a same loop as our parents and grandparents exactly. did. Because the Mongolian dream is shaped by the our parents yeah. and we shouldn't be, you know, going to their path again and again yeah. and again, we should change it and we should make or create or yeah. path, I guess. So in yes. conclusion, what is the Mongolian dream? Uh, to wrap up the whole day, I, I noticed that um, as a youth, we get up early today. We uh, I get up at 6 a.m. in the morning, which I don't normally do. And then we had a really nice breakfast and then we exercised. Um, and then, what else? We exercised, we gave back to the community, and we had some fun decorating the cake. And then, uh, in the evening, we eventually visualized our dream. And I think, uh, just in one day, we have compiled all the like um, aspects of young people's lifestyle. And if we exercise every day, if we get up early in the morning every day, we give back to the community all the time, I think um, we could achieve whatever, everyone, we, want. whatever we want. And, I mean, yeah. Mongolian dream. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and if you realize we all did positive things, yeah. not negative, we focus on the positive, even if we have negative side, we try to make it positive and look at the bright side of everything, right? So which I think is also to see, show Mongolian youth that always be positive. Don't get don't get yourself down, you know. And help each other up as well. You know? Cheer each other up. Yes. 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 Makes and makes it work, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe that's why we're not tired. It's been a long yes. day, but we're not tired and stressed out and complaining. Yeah, about yeah. It. still wild wall climbing right now. <laughs> so. If you do all day long, you, you should be tired. How would you define the Mongolian dream in a single sentence? Mongolian dream is to be kind. Contribute. Unite. To be positive. To be brave. Development. It's time to say goodbye. Compared to this morning, our guests have become very fond of each other and have grown close. Through today's tasks, our guests have learned many things and we certainly hope that you learn something as well. Age and gender don't keep us from reaching our goals as long as we do our best and do it from the heart. To live the Mongolian dream is to be courageous, generous and creative. If you put your mind to it, you can succeed in absolutely everything. Don't forget that greatness is within you.